comprise 30% of the total national production, while the Cagayan Valley accounts 5%. In Cagayan Valley region, Nueva Vizcaya has produced 99% of the region's onion production in 2013. Most onions in Nueva Vizcaya are grown in the municipality of Aritao. In Cagayan Valley region, uh, Aritao at Nueva Vizcaya is known as the best producer of bulb onion. Farmers usually plant onion during the months of November to December and harvest during the months of February to March. In 2010, the Department of Agriculture Regional Field Office Number 2, through the Nueva Vizcaya Experiment Station, provided interventions to onion growers of Aritao through seed assistance, multi-crop cultivator, and onion hunger storage. And a bulb onion commercialization compact farm was established to showcase the performance of the different varieties of onion grown in the municipality. The municipality of Aritao is known for its bulb onion and it is our secondary crop next to rice. It is also recognized in the municipality as our one town, one product. In the region, Aritao has the largest area planted to onion with more or less 600 hectares with 1,000 farmers. As per testimony of Mr. Peter Ko, uh, a businessman and one of the onion magnate in the Philippines, our onion is the best because of its quality. It is so because our onion can last up to six months in cold storage. Support services provided by the Department of Agriculture Regional Field Office Number 2 to the onion farmers and cooperatives under the High Value Crops Development Program include acquiring of good quality planting materials and inputs, establishment of hunger storage facilities, development of market linkages, conduct of appropriate and location-specific researches, and its dissemination and setup of demonstration farms to showcase different onion varieties. These services have contributed to increased production levels in 2013, especially in Nueva Vizcaya. The traditional onion marketing channel involves a complex chain of intermediaries between farmer and consumer. In most cases, a local trader will consolidate and supply to assemblers, who in turn supply to various tires of resellers and retailers. Onions from Nueva Vizcaya are sold via Aritao and Bambang markets. With all the interventions, not only uh, last last year but up to present, we thank or I thank the Department of Agriculture, uh, headed by our ex regional executive director, uh, Lucrecio R. Albiar Jr., and to the DA family for extending their assistance, technical assistance, and also the logistic support. Thank you very much, and a special mention to Madam Sally Miranda for always being there to help and to extend assistance to the municipality of Aritao. Thank you. Ensuring its quality support services to onion growers, DARFO2 envisions the Cagayan Valley region as a competitive, affordable, and sustainable onion industry for the coming years.
Ang mungbin, munggo o balatong ay isa sa mga pinakapaboritong pagkain ng mga Pinoy. Tinatawag din itong poor man's meat dahil bukod sa ito'y mura na, nagtataglay pa ng mataas na protina sa ating katawan at iba pang mga mineral. Ang munggo ay kadalasang itinatanim sa panahon ng tag-init na nagsisimula sa buwan ng Marso at inaani naman sa buwan ng Mayo. Kaya naman, matapos ng pag-aani ng palay, mainam itanim ang munggo dahil may taglay itong nitrogen-fixing bacteria na siyang nagbabalik sa natural na sustansya ng lupa. Karamihan din sa mga magsasaka ay naghihikayat magtanim ng munggo dahil mabilis at madali lamang itong ihanda. Mula sa pagkokondisyon sa lupa, seed inoculation, pamamahala sa mga peste, pag-aabono, pag-aani, pagpapatuyo, threshing, hanggang sa pag-iimbak. Sa Rehyon 2, ang munggo ay isa sa mga pangunahing produkto sa agrikultura, partikular sa bayan ng San Mateo, Isabela. Sa katunayan, idineklara ni Department of Agriculture Secretary Processor J. Alcala ang nasabing bayan bilang munggo capital of the Philippines, alinsunod sa Administrative Order No. 23 noong 2011. Ito ay bilang pagkilala sa bayan ng San Mateo sa natatanging kontribusyon nito sa produksyon at pagsulong sa industriya ng munggo sa buong Pilipinas. Magandang araw, oras po sa lahat. Ako po si Emiliano Camba, ang kasalukuyan po municipal agriculturist ng bayan ng San Mateo. At atin pong may pagmamalaki na dito po sa aking term, nagsimula po yung atin pong pagpaparami o pagpapalago po ng atin pong mangbin, yung tinataguriaan naming black cold ng San Mateo. Nakipag-ugnayan kami sa kagawaran ng pagsasaka dito sa Region 2, particular po sa uh, CBR nung araw pa, humingi kami doon ng munggo inoculant. At uh, kami po'y nagpapasalamat na binigyan po naman kami, libre po yun, napakarami pong ibinigay sa amin. So yun ang nagmulat sa amin na dapat magkaroon kami ng mga seed grower, magkaroon kami ng sariling buto ng mongbin upang sa ganun ay sigurado yung aming ibibigay sa aming mga magsasaka. Dito ulit kami nagpatulong sa kagawaran ng pagsasaka, sa BPI, na kung saan ay nabigyan naman kami ng isang variety ng mongbin o balatong na kung tawagin ay yung pag-asa 7. Dito ang pag-asa 7 na ito ay nakita namin yung kagandahan at dito nagsimula yung mas marami pang inaani ang bayan ng San Mateo. Sa kasalukuyan, ang bayan ng San Mateo ay may mahigit 7,000 ektarya ang tinatamnam ng munggo tuwing parahon ng tagtuyot. Sa pawat ektarya, may naaaning 800 hanggang 1,000 kilo kada ektarya na pumapalo sa 32 pesos bawat kilo. Nangangahulugan na kumikita ang mga magsasaka ng 25,600 pesos hanggang 32,000 pesos sa bawat ektarya. Ngayon, ang produksyon ng munggo ang isa sa nagpapaangat sa ekonomiya ng bayan ng San Mateo, partikular sa 90% populasyon na binubuo ng mga pamilyang nakadepende sa agrikultura bilang kanilang pangunahing kabuhayan. Oo, matitiis ang katira sa San Mateo, nagaboras ng balatong, ito pagkakitaan ng pagsamir. Eh, yun ang pagtawid ng Dahil sa malaking pakinabang ng munggo sa nasabing bayan, ang lokal na pamahalaan ng San Mateo ay nakapag-avail na rin ng mga proyekto sa pakikipag-ugnayan sa kagawaran ng pagsasaka at sa iba pang mga ahensya. Sana dito ang pagpapatayo ng munggo processing center na nagbukas ng trabaho sa grupo ng mga kababaihan. Ilan sa mga produktong pinoprosesong mula sa munggo ay hopya, tinapay, butchi, noodles at chips na siyang pumatok sa merkado at nakiisa sa One Town, One Product program sa probinsya. Taon-taon, ginaganap din ang Balatong Festival sa nasabing bayan bilang pasasalamat sa mataas na ani ng mga magsasaka kung saan itinatampok dito ang Teknodemo, Farmers Forum, Seminars, Cooking Contest at Field Visits. Tunay nga naman ang munggo 
ang may ituturing na black gold of San Mateo. Dahil bukod sa itim nitong kulay, kapag aanihin, may ituturing din ginto dahil isa itong kayamanan na may malaking pakinabang sa bayan at sa mga magsasaka. At upang magtuloy-tuloy ang programang ito, nararapat din ang tuloy-tuloy na gabay at suporta mula sa kagawaran ng pagsasaka. Cacao or cocoa is an important commodity in the world today and offers a good source of income for farmers. The international demand for high-quality cacao beans is growing at about 90,000 tons and Southeast Asian grinders need an additional 220,000 tons which they have to import from Africa and other distant areas. The leading suppliers in the world are the countries of Ghana, Ivory Coast, and Indonesia. While Europe and USA are non-cacao producing countries, they still remain as the main market for premium quality beans. The price of cacao has risen by 100% over the previous months. Aside from its suitability for agroforestry, reforestation, and multi-layer farming system, cacao is also consumed as an antioxidant and mainly for manufacturing chocolates or tablea, soaps, cosmetics, shampoo, and other pharmaceutical products. Today, the Philippines is being promoted as a new cacao supplier with the support of the government and non-government organizations. The potential expansion area for cacao is huge and can add up more than 1,500 per hectare of net income from Development Program or HVCD support to climate change mitigation. However, members of the association need more capability enhancement training and briefing for them to understand the importance of cacao industry. In response to this, a forum on cacao promotion and investment was conducted by the DARFO2 in partnership with the Department of Trade and Industry Region 2 last July 22, 2016 to strengthen farmers' productivity and income. This forum was attended by cacao production experts, particularly the Cacao Industry Development Association of Mindanao Incorporated, or SIDAMI. Hello, I just want to present to you the different uh, characteristics of cacao that uh, I, I think na meron na rin sa inyo sa mga growers natin na lalong lalo na sa Cagayan area. Maraming salamat. Uh, we hope na this presentation could help us in the development of our new roadmap base to sa National 2016 up to 2022. So, yun po. Maraming salamat at magandang tanghali sa atin lang. Agyaman na Narod di Department of Agriculture na idadaulwad ni Regional Executive Director Apo Lucrecio Albiar Junior Ketty High Value Crops Development Program na idadaulwad met ni Regional Technical Director Robert Polinares Ket sa pay kumata ang tulo iti anang tedda iti tulong ken soporta kada kami nga agmulmula iti kakao Diyos ti agnina kada kayo ami uh, Ako'y nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng mga sumuporta sa aming bayan lalong lalo na sa Department of Agriculture kay Director Cresio Arbiar at uh, sa lahat ng mga intervensyon na naibigay nyo dito sa aming bayan sa uspusong nagpapasalamat kaming lahat so rin nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng mga farmers dito sa Lasam na nakikooperate sa agricultural industry para musbong 
pagpapayabong at pagpapayaman ng agriculture industry sa ating probinsya, lalong-lalo na sa ating bayan ng Lasam. Thank you to all of you. Through this continuous government initiative, DARFO2 envisions a competitive cacao industry producing and supplying good quality and sustainable production and equitable marketing system in the region. The Gamu Rural School is this year's champion for Best School Implementer High School category in the Gulayan sa Paaralan Program of the Department of Agriculture in partnership with the Department of Education. The school is located at Barangay Linlingay, Gamu Isabela with a land area of 53 hectares. Guided with its mission to provide an adequate complete and integrated system of technical vocational education, the Gamu Rural School actively participates in the conduct of Gulayan sa Paaralan program to prepare the youth in food production and community building. In regards to the Gulayan sa Paaralan, for me, Gulayan sa Paaralan is very much important. For the reason that we know pretty well that gulay or vegetables will give us foods or delicious foods and um, healthy foods and healthy body. And besides, Gulayan sa Paralan is a laudable endeavor to our young boys and girls that their participation in these activities is not only their willingness to compete but uh, to develop their managerial skills, showing their potentials and uh, determination and confronting squarely the present uh, demands for a national uh, economic uh, development and ultimately in the elevation of uh, the economic crisis that uh, our country today is uh, porously 